And what about the home builders? They took a huge hit during the housing slump. How did they survive and how are they doing now? Toll Brothers is one of the biggest of them all and joining us now is the group president, Chris Gaffney. Welcome. Good of you to come on in. Thanks for having me. How would you characterize the way things stand right now? This is the best spring we've had in the last five years. We are feeling so good about the market right now. Uh, consumer confidence is up. Our customers are feeling real good about how their portfolios are rebounding. And we're seeing all that activity coming into our sales When you say the now. best, how are we measuring in terms of sales, starts, contracts, what? We're, we, we measure it initially in terms of sales, which is contracts and then feeds into backlog mm -hmm. that then becomes starts. So it's that domino effect, which ultimately will start triggering you know, new jobs and things of that nature in, in the state of New Jersey. Where in Jersey? We're, we have 15 locations throughout the state. Uh, we build in, in many of the affluent areas, Monmouth County, Ocean County, Middlesex, uh, some in Mercer, up into the Hoboken on the Gold Coast up there, which is uh, one of our markets that is the most successful right now. The, I mean, you, your reputation is the largest luxury home builder around. Is that, is that what we're talking about here? Well, our, our, we've diversified a lot over the years. Yes, we are the largest luxury home builder in the nation. Um, we, our average price point varies throughout New Jersey, and we offer a lot to many different customers, from homes that are in the mid-350s, 360s, all the way up to the high-end stuff that is up to a million, eight, two million dollars. So the growth we're talking about right now is conditioned upon staying in that sector or branching out? What's happening here? Well, what we're seeing um, on some of the larger-end communities, we see folks that are taking advantage of the super low interest rates today and utilizing that to get what they want in their homes. You know, our customers are very savvy. They, this is the third, fourth, fifth home that they've bought in their lives, have tremendous FICO scores, uh, north of 750 on average, and they're utilizing all of that low interest rate money to get exactly what they want in their homes. Where do you find, are these people who are Jersey folks who are moving to other places in New Jersey, or are there people coming into the state? There are both. We have some lateral buyers, some folks moving out of New York, some folks moving out of PA, depending upon where the communities are in the state that best fits you know, where their jobs are. How do you find the land? I mean, we're conditioned now to think there's a big anti-sprawl effort that's been going on for quite a while. Is the land readily available to you? Well, unfortunately for many, the downturn hurt a lot of folks. Uh, as a conservative company, we ended up putting, you know, putting a lot of cash in the bank and utilizing that now for forward growth. So we're taking advantage of many of the distressed deals that are out there and, and retooling and rebuilding. The level we're talking about right now, this comeback, I mean, does it put you back anywhere near the number of houses and units that you were constructing during the heyday or, or what precisely? We are, we are still below the heyday, 06, 07, but we are seeing an increase over the past two years in both revenues as, you know, as well as sales and unit numbers. Just to give us a sense, though, because I don't think two people, many people, certainly I didn't, appreciate the distinction between where we were before the slump and, and what happened afterwards. How many... In New Jersey, it, we yeah. were probably down about 60% from our peak. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, we'll deliver approximately 280 to 300 units. So at our peak, we were, you know, you, know, you, could, you could see the difference. Was that sustainable? When you were going through it, did you think that was sustainable? At some point, no. You know, we, we've always been in the business. This is, you know, third, fourth, fifth cycle that many of us have been involved in. And you do realize that at some point it's going to turn. We're now seeing it go back up again. We, we see, you know, the, the different studies. We see that home sales uh, are, values are going up in, in the case Shiller. But we also saw that there was a slump in June, supposedly, in the number of sales. Uh, so w what are we supposed to glean from all this? Well, we, we see in many of our markets, we have some modest pricing power. Prices are starting to go up again. Incentives are starting to go down. Again, not like five, six years ago. However, we are starting to see increases, which really bodes well for the customers. So your, your projection short term is for good times or what? Projection short term for better times, yes. All right. Had to leave it there. We'll check back with you throughout all times. Chris, thank you. Thank you.